Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In my last video, I had uh, demonstrated how I painted this old boot and I had mentioned that I used a lot of the granulating colors from Daniel Smith's. Uh, I got a few questions regarding this about what are granulating pigments and how to use them. So I decided to make this video where I'm going to swatch out these colors and uh, we'll see what they can do. If you use granulating colors and love them like I do, or if you paint this boot alongside and you know, I'd love it if you would tag me. Um, you can tag me at hashtag artwithshikha at Instagram and Facebook and I'd love to see what you paint. So here are the colors I used in this painting. I used Camlin's Yellow Walker. The rest of the colors are from Daniel Smith. Let's start with the swatching and let's see how they, they react with water. So yellow ochre is a very earthy and beautiful color which is used by many artists and it does granulate quite a bit. Um, now what is granulation? Granulating pigment will be one. When you add distilled water to it, the pigments drop out of the binder and settle into the valleys and the grooves of the watercolor paper, creating beautiful patterns and effects. So. Um, as you can see, the ochre is now kind of uh, separating out on the bird and you can see the different granules. Um, I'm also swatching out the Venetian red, which is that's a really beautiful brick red kind of color and it does granulate quite a bit. I'm also going to let the colors bleed into each other. Next up is uh, Cerulean Blue, which although it's very, very, very pleasant and mild color, it does granulate a bit. As you can see, um, right away that when we mix the Cerulean with the, um, with the Venetian Red, it's kind of kind of giving a really nice shade already and uh, you know the pigments are kind of settling down in the valleys of the paper and leaving the water to flow around next up is ultramarine blue which is again a very very popular color with watercolorists and it's it's a beautifully granulating pigment one of my favorites a uh, one tip for beginners you could pick up a few colors like see about three to four colors uh, like a triad of yellow red blue and maybe you know one or two earth colors and um, you know, swatch them out create color charts it's a great way to understand your pigments and learn about them and how they interact with each other. And it also teaches you how to keep your colors fresh. I'm swatching out a, a different, very, very different color now. It's called the Green Appetite Genuine. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's part of the Daniel Smith Primatech color. It's a highly granulating color, which is what we desired in this uh, particular painting. Probably will use it only in places where I want granulation. Another beautiful color is uh, the burnt umber, and uh, it's it's a really really popular earth tone and uh, it's great for mixing darks as well as you know using it for wherever you want an earthy brown coming up are two gorgeous colors uh you know especially moon glow it's just a magical color it's a rich purpley dark shade you know which um, always reminds me of space and interstellar spaces maybe one day i will create an illustration based on this color and do a video on that uh, but i just love that color and you know um, it's it's kind of very magical so try this color out if you can and and of course it granulates beautifully uh, the one dark that I don't often use 
but I used in this painting is Luna Black. It granulates like crazy. So if you really, really want a dark where you want the granules to kind of pop here and there, go for it. Okay, try this out. It just kind of, you know, um, makes a very stark, dark statement there. So, you know, the best part about this is just playing around and experimenting and finding your own shades. Here's a close-up of how these colors were after you know they mixed around okay after this paper dried I kind of did some close-ups and um, see how beautifully they have mixed and granulated together and created beautiful patterns and textures Well, if you like this video, um, do press like and uh, consider subscribing to my channel. And uh, I'd love to hear from you about what subjects you'd like me to make videos on and what you'd like me to paint next. Thanks for watching. You have a nice day.